when you look at a board today, a lot of the sitting board members didn't have cyber security issues when right. they were going through the prime of their business careers, okay? So now, I think like a couple years ago, the trend was to find somebody with IT or digital security right. experience. But the feedback was when, when you got directors that were single focused, okay, that were zeroed in on a particular topic, but didn't have the broad range of board skills, that sometimes that didn't work out on the board. Right. So are you, is that what you're seeing, that they'd rather have somebody who has a broader range of, of operating experience in addition to that versus somebody that's, for example, only head of IT? I think that's really uh, exactly what's happening. If you think about it, it's a, you know, a board seat is expensive real estate, and because it doesn't turn over, you have to be really thoughtful because you're going to have this person as a director for a very long time. And so you do need directors who are multifaceted, that, can, you know, that are beyond one topic. And cyber is one of those issues that people have grappled with. And most boards have come out saying, you know what, instead we're going to hire a CISO or somebody like that to take that, to be responsible for that rather than having it a director whose specialty is that. Uh, we've seen a few boards do advisory boards, tech advisory boards, because you can have a couple of people who can work for you on an advisory board for a year or two or three, you know, you can really um, design it the way you want it and you get that expertise, but you're not using a board seat for it. So an advisory board of some sort can get at some of those single issues.